Hi, welcome to the GMC 2-axis CNC hydraulic press brake video with Dellum DA41S controller. This video is for initial setup and how to adjust the top punch in case you need to fine tune for a little bit better bending. When you receive this press brake in, please note that it's equipped with lifting holes on both sides. This press brake must be lifted from the top with the appropriate shackles and or chains using a qualified license and insured rigor. Please do not lift this press brake from the bottom. That may void the warranty. When you have put this press brake into place, you'll notice on each side, front and back, there are four feet. Each foot has a leveling jack and a space for an anchor hole. This press brake must be precision leveled and anchored to the floor. We suggest using at least half inch or thicker plates with the appropriate foot size for leveling. Once the press brake has been leveled, you should back off the jack screws so that the weight of the press brake is not sitting on the threads. You will need a qualified, certified, licensed and insured industrial electrician to hook up this machine. This one is currently wired 220 volt three phase. Your electrician will size the proper breakers and wire size and make all the electrical connections necessary to get this press brake up and running. On the back of the motor there is an arrow that indicates the direction of the fan. Once the electricity has been supplied to the machine, turn it on and off quickly and check the rotation of the motor. If the motor is turning in the direction of the arrow, then it's been wired incorrectly. If it's running backwards, your electrician will need to make some adjustments to get the motor to turn in the correct direction. Make sure that you read the manual in full and you follow the lubrication schedule. You will see there are numerous lubrication points, slideways on the back gauge, the ball screws, torsion bar hinges, and slide guideways. The pressure on this machine has been preset to 20 MPA. This should be sufficient to bend everything that this particular machine can bend in this 5 foot of 55 ton. Once the press brake is in place, everything is set, leveled, anchored, wired in correctly, properly lubricated. Make sure that you have the appropriate amount of oil. This machine takes 35 ton, uh, 35 gallons of oil. Please fill the sight glass about 90% full. In our previous videos, we talked about changing punches, dies, changing the dies, calibrating the pinch points. In this particular video, we're going to talk a little bit about what to do if your punch is not seated 100% to your satisfaction. In the manual mode, using the jog feature, you can slowly bring the ram down. You'll move the multi-way V die until you reach a flat spot, a machine surface, on top of the die. All the way across. Once you make the Y-axis adjustments and bring down your ram low enough to reach the top of that die, you can then use a feel -it gauge to check your gap. So using a feeler gauge you would feel across to see if there's any gaps that need to be adjusted. 
if you come across an area where there's a slight space or a gap, you can then use the appropriate wedge block adjustments to either lower or raise the punch in that spot. You would loosen these two bolts here, use a brass rod and a hammer, and slowly tap this over to drive it down to the left, or bring it over to the right to raise it up. You will do this according to paste the, the, the portion of the punch where you need to uh, make that adjustment. You will recheck the area with your feeler gauge. Once that is complete, you can tighten up the screws again, and you should be good to go. These quick release handles are for changing out your punch. You can pull these out all the way across and the punch will just hang in there. Then open the side light curtain door and slide the punch all the way out to the left or the right. This press brake is also equipped with light curtains on both sides. The light curtains are for keeping your hands out of the working areas until the machine has reached, uh, reached a very small pinch point. At that point in time, the light curtains will release and you'll be able to move the material around if necessary. On the back of the machine, there is a master switch for the light curtain. It needs to stay in the on position and then you can remove the key. At no time should the light curtains ever be disabled or turned off during working operations. Disabling or turning off the light curtains while using it may void the warranty. Thank you for watching and enjoy your new press brake.